England is a very multicultural place and because of this, people have been eating dishes here from all over the world, including Indian, Chinese food and of course, shepherd's pie. Now I'm going to show you a dish today that's traditional to England and that's fish and chips. People have been eating this dish since 1863. Now this is what you need to make fish and chips. The most important one being the fish. This is haddock. Chopped onions. And the peas which will eventually mash together. Black pepper, bicarbonate soda, plain flour, salt, vinegar, tartar sauce and the chips. Now let's get cooking. For the fish, this is what you'll need to make the crispy batter. One pint of water, eight ounces of flour, a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda and four eggs. Then, you need to whisk all the ingredients together. Make sure the batter is of the right consistency. Generally, the thicker, the better. Next, we've got to cover the fish in flour. making sure both sides are covered. Then we dip the fish into the batter. Now, all we need to do is put the fish in the oil. But be careful, the oil is very hot. Now while this is cooking, let's get the chips and put them in the oven. We now need to get some chips and put them in the tray. Now I normally like my chips really well done. The chips then go into the oven. Now the peas, we only put on for a few minutes because if they're on for too long, they lose all their colour and all their nutrients. Once this is done, we put all the ingredients together. We then need to drain the peas and put them in the blender. Be careful not to spill while doing this. Once the lid is on securely, we just need to turn it on. We leave it on for a few minutes. And it's not turning on, but it's okay. <laughs> Give it a few minutes, guys. Right, um, slight technical. One more time. Aha, and now it's working, finally. <sighs> For added flavor, you can even add a touch of salt, a touch of pepper, and some chopped onions. We're now gonna take these out and put them back into this dish. Not this, of course. And there we have it, fish and chips. Now I normally like a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And even a touch of vinegar. And now I'm ready to tuck in. Mmm, yum yum. Fish and chips, Alice Steven.